question is, I mean, you were basically playing when Kansas was last really good. How different is Kansas then and now? You know, That's interesting. Was that one? That was Mangino? I think so, yeah. It was a little bit after me. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's uh, you know, I've been at Fox for a decade now, and we've covered the Big 12 forever, and had Kansas on the network quite a bit. It was just a struggling time for football here, obviously, everyone knows. And you kind of saw glimpses of just competitiveness, and the games were getting tighter and all that. And now that Coach Leipold has come, you can just, just, just see the difference. You know, Coach is a winner. He's won everywhere he's been. He's got an incredible staff, and he's brought that kind of culture and what he knows, and he's instilled that into the team. And you can see the team plays together. The team is competitive. They're winning. You know, this isn't just a fluke. Like Kansas football is, is solid. Like this is a good team. You know what I mean? So, I think it's been really fun to see that. Um, you know, we're, we're, we saw it with kind of Colorado and Coach Prime. Yeah. Obviously, they were one and eleven last year, completely like one of the worst teams in college football. To now relevancy, Coach Leipold has done that now in a couple of years, and. Uh, Look, I think he's he's building something really cool here. You know, OU and Texas are leaving the conference. It's going to be wide open in the in the future, and why not Kansas? You know, what's the next step for this program? You think? Yeah, I mean, I think. Look, I think the next step is, you know, you want to compete for Big Twelve championships. You know, and, I, and again, I, maybe they're not there yet, but they're but they're climbing. And I would say this: TCU last year, no one expected them to get to a title game. No one picked them to win the Big Twelve. They came out of nowhere. They had a, a, an incredible run. Um, that happens with the transfer portal and now how you can build teams, the playoff expanding to 12. There's just there's a lot more avenues and things for, for teams like Kansas and some of these programs are still trying to find their way to kind of make a run and, and uh, be a part of that discussion. So I think that's the exciting part about the future here. What impressed you most getting to see the program today and meet the staff? And uh, I know Coach Lipo a little bit. Um, he's just an awesome guy. You can just tell. You, can just, you just sit down and you can just tell he gets it clearly. Um, but yeah, I mean, just being here, and um, we were really excited to come here just because we know, one, the excitement, um, and just kind of now that Kansas football is getting irrelevant and they're winning that, how excited you know fans are and the students and the alumni and all that. So to be a part of kind of that growth and to see that on Fox, it's really cool. So uh, plus great football weather. It's going to be packed tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're pumped, man. We're pumped to be here. What are your thoughts on the quarterback matchup with Jason Bean and Dylan Gabriel? Well, with Jason, you know, obviously with Jalen Daniels being out, Jason Bean's come in and, and played really well. You know, I mean, obviously he's more than capable of going out there tomorrow and winning the game against Oklahoma. Uh, I think with Dylan Gabriel, uh, I just, I love him, man. He's an incredible player. Um, he's been around a long time. He's won a lot of games, but this year it just feels different with him. He's a real, real Heisman candidate, the way he's played. Big moments, fourth quarter drives. Um, he's going to have to play that well tomorrow. I mean, Kansas is going to come out fired up tomorrow. They're going to score points. We've, we've covered Oklahoma Cincinnati a couple weeks back. You know, Oklahoma struggled a little bit kind of last week against UCF. So uh, this game can go either way, but it's a fun you know, it's a fun quarterback matchup. Both guys can run. Both both have been playing really well. What are you learning about Lawrence so far? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, let's see. I'm learning that it's uh, 70 degrees one day and 40 degrees the next. Uh, typical Midwest weather, right? Um, no, just, a, just a, they, they, there's an excitement, I think, here. Um, and I'm sure there is generally, but we're here, which is exciting for us. And I think there's an excitement from both sides. Like, Big Noon is here, Fox. It's a big national national televised game. Um, so I'm just excited to see the fans. So I love interacting with the fans and them coming to the show. So uh, Lawrence has been great to us, though, so far. Good? Thank you. All right, guys.